today I'm going to show you guys how to do some victory rolls. I've had a lot of people asking me how I do them. Um, I love doing victory rolls, especially on hair that might be a day or two old um, that you just need to add a little bit of food to just to make it look cute. So this, this style, you have two rolls. You have one smaller on this side and then a slightly larger on this side because I parted to one side. Of course, you can make them symmetrical if you part in the middle. It's totally up to you. The products I have used for this style is um, you'll need a backcombing brush, you'll need your clips for your pink curls, some hairspray. I love Bedhead TG Masterpiece because it smells so good. You can use um, Bedhead Oat Beehive if you need some extra texture. If your hair is super clean, it really helps. And then I also use my um, Late Right pomade um, just to tidy up those little wispy bits at the end. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how to achieve this look. So you want to begin with either clean hair or I would use day, kind of day old hair is a lot easier to work with. So to get started you want to just do the pink curls in your hair. Um, if you want to see this in more detail, I do have a pink curl hair tutorial. Um, it's really easy to follow. All you need to do the pink curls is your little section and clips uh, and some straighteners or you can use a curling iron or you can use hot rollers, whatever is easier for you. So we are going to start wherever you want to part. You can part to one side or the other or you can do in the middle if you want two perfectly um, symmetrical curls. But I find that's a much harder way to go to it if you're new to this. It's a lot easier to part to the side and then do a smaller curl on one side and a larger on the other. That way you don't have to be so precise with your victory rolls. So I just I always part to this side so my hair naturally goes. So we're just going to start off by doing our little inch wide pink curls. So now you've got all your hair pink curled. Um, I've left mine for about 20 minutes to cool down on set. So usually, um, like I've said before, if you just do this to your hair first before you do your makeup, then by the time you've finished your makeup, it'll all be ready to get taken out. So I'm going to take out all of these little pins and then we'll get started on these victory rolls. Now all of my pins are out, I am just going to gently loosen up these curls just by running my fingers through my hair. It just gives a nice big bouncy curl. Once you've got your hair set like this, there's so much you can do with it. And then just take your, um, you can use a teasing comb or if you have a demon brush, they're also really good for doing vintage hair. So I'm just going to slowly just comb these curls just so that they have a really nice uniform look. So to start you're just going to get a nice big section of hair. The bigger the section of hair the bigger your victory roll is going to be. And start teasing that hair at the root. If your hair is really thick you can tease in sections. If it's a little bit finer then I would recommend using a um, texturizing powder or a texturizing spray, a bit like this um, TGB Hive spray. Because your hair is curled, it's naturally going to want to curve itself. So just grab that section and just start rolling the hair in, just how it wants to go naturally. And make sure you've got some height in there too. And then you just want to take a bobby pin and just anchor it from the back first and then I would recommend anchoring it from the front also try and hide your pins so you can't see them there's nothing worse than being able to see the hairpins there's different ways of doing victory rolls you can either have them so, that, so you can really see the roll up in the front so they're almost standing up or you can have them more at an angle like this The main thing is you, that you have a lot of volume in the side. And now we're going to do the same on the other side. Because I parted to the side, this victory roll is going to be bigger than this one. They don't have to be uniform, they don't have to match exactly. That's the nice thing about victory rolls is you can do it different every time. As long as they look neat. Again, I'm just going to tease. And just make sure your front is nice and smooth. And then 
you start to mold your hair into a nice big roll. I have short bangs, so I'm going to have this larger section right here. But make sure you have plenty of volume in the side also. And you want to meet your rolls in the middle. You don't want a gap in the middle because that just doesn't look right. So once you've got it to where you think you want, you need it, and then you can just start anchoring it. Always start by pinning in the back. And then you can pop a pin in the front also. And then you can start to open it up a little bit if you want a little bit of a bigger roll. Because I have this large section of hair right here that I've teased, I want to be able to see the roll in the back. And just play around with it, just mold it. So there you have your two rolls. No gap. And you want your rolls to be about the same size. You don't want different sized ones. I mean, it doesn't really matter if they're a little bit off. And I'm just going to press this down just so you can see your roll behind. So there's your two rolls and now I am going to tease the back. I want a little bit of height in the top. Because when you've got that volume in the front and the sides, the last thing you want is a really flat back section of hair because it's just not going to look cute. And I'm a big fan of big hair. A huge fan of big hair. So I'm going to tease this all over and get lots of volume in those curls that we set earlier. And then finally, as a finishing touch, I am just going to grab some Layrite hair pomade. This good stuff. Well, you guys know um, hair pomade isn't just for the dudes, we can use it too. It's really great for smoothing out all those little wispy runaway hairs that we might have. So just take a little bit on your fingers, you need a tiny amount, and just make sure it's nice and soft. And then just use it on your big tree rolls, and it'll just get all those little wispy loose hairs to stick in the right place. This is also a high sheen pomade, so it's going to give you that nice shiny healthy hair too. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to add a little hair flower. I always shoot from this side, so I always put my flowers on this side. So if you just pop a little bit of a flower right there. And there you go, that's your finished look. Mm -hmm.